all right guys welcome back in this video we're going to be learning about font properties in CSS now so far we have been having only one font throughout our HTML document and to specify a font we need to use a font family property of CSS so let's say we want to change the font of our paragraph tag so let me quickly create a paragraph tag this is some text all right when you go ahead and refresh it all right it has some default font now in our style tag let's create a style for our paragraph tag so the property we use is font family and this can take a valid font as its value let's say Georgia now when we save it Notice the difference in the in the font. So refresh and there you go. It's kind of a bigger font. And generally, it's a good idea to specify multiple fonts so that if one of them is not supported, it then goes or relies on the next font. So let's say serif. So what happens here is that first it checks if Georgia is a valid font, then it uses Georgia if that is not supported it then goes back to Verdana and even if that is not supported it changes to serif font so for example let me just mess up the spelling so that Georgia is not valid then it relies on Verdana so if we refresh it there you go it's even bigger font so that's how the font family property works you need to specify fonts as the values and it's going to use one of them whichever is supported and in the order from left to right now the next property we have is font style now font style is font style can be used to let's say make our prop uh, make our element italicized so if you use a font style of italics then if you refresh it the text becomes italicized now there is another value which is oblique so oblique and save it and reload it so I don't really find that much of a difference but it does exist and it, it is it I have to explain that to you so a font style can either be italicized or oblique and next we have a font size property so font size and this well obviously is used to set the size of the font so let's say 24 pixels and when you save it and reload it it becomes bigger the size is now 24 pixels if you make it let's say 36 and reload it it becomes even bigger and lastly we have font weight now the font weight property is used to specify how thick you want the text to be now there's a difference between size and weight size is the actual size but weight is just the thickness of individual letters so let me show you what I mean uh, one of the possible values is lighter now when we save it just observe the thickness of each of the letters okay I did not save it refresh all right let me make it bolder so that you can make out the difference now bolder is another value that font weight takes all right there you go the size of the font still remains the same but the thickness of the letters is going to be increasing and we can have something like normal which is the actual size or the thickness what we have and then we also have bold so save it, refresh it, it becomes bold. The possible values are normal, lighter, bold, and bolder. And that's pretty much it about the font properties in CSS. We have a font family to specify the font we want to use. We have a font style that can be used to italicize or make the text oblique. And then we have a font size to specify the size and the font weight to specify the thickness of the text. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.